Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. And thanks for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Sunday, August the 4th. It's the 8th Sunday after Pentecost and week 5 in the Psalm Cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 93 and Romans chapter 4, verse 7 through 12. And a canticle from the Song of the Three Young Men, verses 29 to 34. Join me now in seeing verse 4 of Hail the Power of Jesus' Name. Ye heirs of Israel's chosen race, ye ransomed of the fall, hail him who saved you by his grace, and crown him Lord of all. Hail him who saved you by his grace, and crown him Lord of all. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Together. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, you reign clothed in majesty and guarded with strength. Alleluia. Psalm 93, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, you reign clothed in majesty and guarded with strength. You establish the world so that it cannot be moved. Your throne is established of old. You are everlasting and evermore. The floods have lifted up. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their waves. You are on high. You are mightier than the noise of many waters. Yes, than the mighty waves of the sea. Your testimonies are sure, and holiness becomes your dwelling forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, you reign clothed in majesty and girded with strength. Alleluia. A reading from Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 4, beginning at verse 7. Blessed are those whose iniquities are forgiven and whose sins are covered. Blessed is the one against whom the Most High will not reckon sin. This, in, is this blessedness then pronounced only on the circumcised, or also on the uncircumcised? We say faith was reckoned to Abraham as righteousness. How then was it reckoned to him? Was it before or after he had been circumcised? It was not after, but before he was circumcised. He received the sign of circumcision as a seal of righteousness that he had by faith while he was still uncircumcised. The purpose was to make him the ancestor of all who believe without being circumcised and who thus have righteousness reckoned to them. And likewise, the ancestor of the uncircumcised who are not only circumcised, but who also follow the example of the faith that our ancestor Abraham had before he was circumcised. Here ends the lesson. And now in the words our Savior taught us we're bold to say, Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Alleluia, blessed are you, beloved God of our ancestors. We praise you and exalt you above all forever. Alleluia. The Song of the Three Young Men. And please recite it with me. Alleluia, blessed are you, beloved God of our ancestors. We praise you and exalt you above all forever. Blessed is your glorious and holy name. We praise you and exalt you above all forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your glory. We praise you and highly exalt you forever. Blessed are you that behold the depths and are seated among the cherubim. We praise you and highly exalt you forever. Blessed are you on your glorious throne. We praise you and highly exalt you forever. Blessed are you in the great vault of heaven. We praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Bless Jesus, my soul. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.